What's going on guys? This is Jade up here. What I'm going to be bringing you guys today is just a tanking build uh, for the Fanglayer and Scale Caller. The two new dungeons that just came out on the 27th for console. Um, they came out a while back for PC. But uh, if you guys are struggling in that uh, dungeon to achieve to get the achievements for at least Fang, Fanglayer and Scale Caller, this tank build may help you out. If your tank is having issues, um, just to kind of show you that I do have it. Boom! There's that ritual. Looks pretty nice. And then the doom. What? What? Skull. Pretty cool. And as of now that I know of, there are only well, as of when the video was made, there was only three people who has it, which is myself and two other buddies of mine. My other buddy had to get off the first night. And we ended up pulling somebody else in with the no death. And we ended up getting it within a few runs. And uh, so, yeah, we ended up getting it. And that's all we needed. And we got it. So um, by the time this video is made and posted, there's probably going to be more people on console that have it now, um, which I'm sure there, there might be. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at uh, character sheet, inventory, and then as far as like gear and stuff, then we're going to be looking at skills and uh, CP. Probably not in that order, but something like that. So we have 14k Magicka, 36k Health, 20k Ma Stam, and 1200 Recovery. I'm not going to be one of those guys that's going to be like, oh, we have 37k Health, 15k Magicka. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna be one of those guys, okay? I'm just gonna tell you exactly what we have on a character sheet so you're not gonna you know, it's not a clickbait or something like that. Anyways, we have twenty eight K spell and twenty nine K physical. Um pretty good setup for a tank, pretty decent. Um uh, we have health and stem at thirty and thirty four. We are a stage four vampire, mainly because we're emo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we, we just use it for the extra recovery. It's it's really nice. And, you know, it's badass. You know. And then we also use it for invigorating drain. That's that's another reason. It's probably like one of our other big reasons for it. Uh, if you guys don't know what invigorating drain is, um, I'll just... Uh, I'll show you guys a little bit later. Actually, I'll show you now. Screw it. Um, so invigorating drain is in your uh, vampire skill, skill line. Basically, anytime you use it, you're generating five ultimate every one second for three seconds. Pretty nice. It's really the only reason why we use it. You get some 10% uh, extra magic on stem recovery. That's pretty cool. And then you know, but that's that's mainly why we use it for the recovery and then invigorating drain. But you don't have to be one. You don't have to. Uh, we are using the Lady Moonstone. It increases the physical and spell resistance by 2930. It's really nice. Can't beat it. If you feel with this build you need more recovery or more health or more stam, more magicka, whatever, by all means, use a different Moonstone. This is just what I feel is... is um, this is just what I feel that is better for those two dungeons, okay? Um, we are also using tri-step pots, or pots, tri well, we are using tri-step pots, but we are using tri-step food, and um, this, that's is what our stats look like with it. Okay, we're not even buffed up yet, okay? So let's go pull our swords and board out and hit our balance right quick, because that's what gives our majors. And boom, we're at 33k physical, or 32k spell and 34k physical. Yeah, we're a little high on physical, whatever. You're still at max, okay? Still decent stats, and this is gonna last for 27 seconds, okay? Now let's look at our some. Yeah, let's look at our gear, okay? So our gear is really unique. Well, let's look at our what we're using, okay? Uh, tri-step pots, or excuse me, tri-step food, tri-step pots, um, immovable pots, yeah, I don't pop them that much, trash pots, magicka, trash pot stand, okay, alright, so our gear, we're using two his bark on front and back bar, just so we always does that physical resistance, if we didn't have it up, we would be 2k lower, 
<laughs> pretty self-explanatory. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this is what we're using. Uh, sword defending, sword defending, shield sturdy. Both of them sturdy. Both of them have max stamina. on there. Um, you could use decisive swords. You could use defending. You can use infused. Whatever. Again, this is all what I feel helped me out beat it the first day to get the first clear on console as far as no death speed run hormone achievement okay so increases um this increases your physical uh, resistance uh defending increased physical and spell resistance and then we have our crusher enchant on our front bar our back bar you could put a weakening enchant on that would also be amazing but dealing with console players, it's laggy probably about 70 to 80% of the time in a trial slash anything that's going on. It, it just sometimes it's it's difficult to swap bars quick enough to get that heavy attack or light attack in. Sometimes by the time you do that, it's just you, you can't swap bars back sometimes or you get one shotted because you swap bars and then you know something like that so you know uh, that's why that's why i keep crushing on both bars will increase your damage with weakening enchant and crush enchant yeah sure whatever you know but is it gonna be noticeable not really i mean that's not gonna be like tremendously noticeable okay and plus, we're just dealing with a dungeon, so whatever. Uh, we are using the Malubes set. Uh, main reason why we're using this is just for that little bit of extra health, and it gives you major vitality. Increases your healing received by 30 per, 30 percent. So you're getting so when you have Green Dragon Blood or Vigor, whatever you want to use, and this proc. You will definitely be getting a lot of uh, healing. So if you use Green Dragon Blood, or if you use Hardened Armor and then Vigor and then and Igneous and then this Prox, like you're getting major mending, minor vitality, and major vitality. So it's just mainly for the major vitality and the a little bit of extra health. We we are running in these dungeons. Myself and my team are running one tank and three DPS. Uh, we had a Stampar last night, and then we had a Sork and a Nightblade. So, that's how we got our no, our uh, speed run and no death and all that stuff. So, just keep in mind, you can't do it without a healer. Is it a lot harder on the tank? Definitely a lot harder on the tank. So, keep that in mind. But anyways, um, all of these sets are heavy, unfortunately. We could get a little bit more if we had like a light helmet or a medium helmet or medium shoulders, light helmet or light shoulders, whatever. Do you need it? No. Do you kind of want it? Yeah, kind of. But I would just swap one with the with the medium. And, and every other gear set that I run, I run six heavy, one medium. That's what I run. But uh, for optimal, for best in slot, if or as far as like what I found best, um, you know, the seven's nice. Do you if you, if you have a medium or medium and then one light shoulder and headpiece, then then use it. You know, I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm not saying anything is best in slot. Just like Malubeth is really good. You use you're mainly using it for the major. If you have both of them light and that's the only pieces you have, then then use it. If you feel like you're getting hit on too hard. Then swap it with Warden or Chudin or or uh, Bloodspawn or whatever you feel, you know, whatever you feel like you should you should need. But uh, Malubeth is going to help you out a lot. Okay, you're not going to be running away from ads. You're you're hardly ever going to be breaking the eight meters uh, for the beam. So whatever ad it's whatever ad it's on, it's usually going to be with you. Um, so it's just kind of nice to get that little bit of extra healing. We are, our second set is, uh, well, our third set is going to be, uh, Dragon, Magic Recovery, Healing Taken, Max, uh, Max Health, and then it reduces your ultimate ability by 15%. It's just a really nice set. Um, you could use Torogs in this place. Yeah, you could. You could if you want to. By all means, go for it. Um, I did end up using it 
uh, in the last few runs that we got our node because we ended up doing it again for another buddy um, I did end up changing it but by far this was a lot easier to use this this build setup was a lot easier to use um, by far okay uh, but but yeah, um, you could use Torox, you could use Bloodspawn, you could use Alkosh, um, all that stuff. But again, this is just easier. This build is just ten times easier, I feel. Um, and then reinforced again, reinforced, infuse, infuse. What I would like is sturdy on the feet, hands, waist, shoulders, and fused on the headpiece, chest, and legs. And then, of course, I would mix and match whether or not I wanted uh, stem or health or magic, uh, stem health or stem or health enchants on the uh, on the body pieces. I have them a little bit mixed up. Most of them are in health, and then uh, one of them is in stem. So, well, two of them because of the shield. But, but yeah, um, mix and match whatever you feel is necessary uh, as far as your as far as your attribute points go. Our last set is going to be potato set. That's what I call it because I'm horrible at trying to pronounce this name and I just make myself sound like an idiot when I do. Um, we are using two Magicka recovery glyphs and then one uh, shield play when I ever convince myself to change it. Uh, but since I don't ever use this set um, other than now and in pvp by the way i do have a pvp tank build on a sork and a and a warden and a dk for this build right here um that uses this set and it is amazing anyways i'll be doing that uh after this video anyways um uh, yeah so we're using the potato set Gives you max health as far as the traits go, and then the three three to two pieces is stam recovery. It's not it's okay, but for PVE it's not really that great. But it reduces your cost of your abilities, ultimate abilities by ten percent. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it as far as our sets. We'll go back up them right now just so you can kind of see. These rings are extremely cheap on console, and I can just imagine how cheap they are on PC. These are like two K. 1k to 3k so anybody can pick up this set and anybody can farm dragon um and if you don't already have dragon as a tank definitely get it um if you can get dragon jewelry and body pieces and you will be able to mix and match ebon and all that stuff uh, I guess if you could get dragon sword and board. Um, I don't have the boards for dragon just because I still have yet to, to even see them. Um, I just I check traders almost every day and I still haven't seen dragon board and sword and boards. I have the swords. I just don't have the boards for them. All right, so let's look at our skills right quick. Um, we are using Pierce Armor. Stamina ability, 15 second taunt, and it gives you your majors, uh, your breach and fracture. Okay, it's sword and board uh, ability, really nice. Have to have it on your bar. You don't have to, but I would suggest if you're gonna be a tank, have Pierce armor on your, um, on your skills, at least on your front bar. Uh, balance. Mainly use that to get Magicka back and, and for your major your uh, your major buffs. So your resolve and your ward. Keep in mind that when you do use it, you do reduce your healing done by 4 seconds. So if you look down there on the uh, right above my health, where it has the balance, the same, the same ability as Y up there. The same icon as Y. It's counting down from 3. Zero counts as a second. So three, two, one, zero, that counts as four. Okay. And then you can heal yourself. Okay. Pretty nice. Um, can you use hardened armor? Yeah, you can use hardened armor all day long if you want. It's going to give you your major, um, your major buffs as well. Um, and it's also going to proc 
your draconic, uh, your burning heart ability. Uh, passive. But, so does Green Dragon's Blood. Except for it doesn't give you your majors. Gives you minor vitality, which is, we'll get into that. Okay, we'll get into that. Can you use Sarnan Armor in that spot? Yeah, you can. You can. By all means, you can. Sure, why not? You know, but uh, I really like balance because it's extremely, it's extremely easy. I mean, you're running 36k health most of the time. I mean, when I'm in Asylum, I'm running like 40-something k, okay, as off tank and main tank. And just being able to hit that balance a few times and get, get, um, like if I'm low, watch, I'll just show you, I'll just get to low. Two pots, you're already at 50, 60, almost 60%. You're at 57% when you pop it twice. And then, you know, it just goes up from there. You know what I mean? And it really only took 10K health. So if I'm at 40, I'm at 30 now. You know what I mean? If I'm at 45K health, I'll be at 35K health. You know what I mean? It's it's not going to be that, that difficult. Um, just don't use it when a boss is going to heavy attack because then if he heavy attacks you and you don't dodge roll it or something like that, you're going to get hit for a lot. So, But anyways, just be smart with the balance use. Um, other than that, it's a great skill. Uh, it's just a great skill. Sacrifice 5k health for 3k magic. 51k, 5100 health for 3k magic. Whatever. Uh, but it, yeah, I mean, it's not like you're, you know, it's just a really good skill. Okay, quick as, all right, moving on. Uh, anyways, uh, we're using Absorb Magicka. Another good skill. It's probably one of the best for uh, Fang Lair and for Scale Caller as far as, like, the ad pulls. Uh, for Fang Lair, it's, it's just so amazing on the final boss because there's times where you're tanking the boss and he's he what he's gonna do is like you could be out of magicka and stam and you're gonna heavy attack heroic slash and then igneous if you can and then you're gonna hit that absorb magicka and he usually shoots out these little magicka projectiles that are like skulls and then the other side boss that, that comes down and just shoots magic stuff at you you can just literally sit there and, and heal yourself back to back to back it, it's so nice to use and then plus it gives you that um, the eight percent eight percent block uh, increased block or excuse me <sighs> the amount of damage you can block is increased by eight percent and the cost of blocking is reduced by eight percent that's also nice okay just super nice okay um, moving on, Igneous Shields, it's really nice. The main reason why you're using it, it other than like the, um, other than the, sh the small little shield, the major mending, it's mainly for this one right here. Um, when you're in combat, you generate three ultimate. This effect can occur once every three, six seconds. You pop, you pop an Earthen Heart ability with every every six seconds you're gonna get three ulti so it's just super nice okay next one heroic slash it's uh just just does amazing damage no it doesn't but the only thing you're really using it for is the minor maim and the minor heroism generating one ultimate all one ultimate every 1.5 seconds or nine seconds that's awesome okay and that's really all you're using it for and you can kind of tell when your igneous is going to run out if you do a heavy attack heroic slash light attack igneous they're almost on the same cooldown pretty nice our next ability is going to be barrier um, now for these two dungeons barrier does help but it does not stop the one-shot mechanics like in Fangler Final Boss, the ghost. If you get hit by a ghost, you're dead. Right? You get you're in scare caller, you get hit by the breath, you're dead. Right? It doesn't stop those one shot mechanics, but it does absorb a lot of damage that, that your that your other uh, that your group is taking. If you hit them with it, the the they're they're gonna be good for a little bit, okay?
Um, other than that, let's go to our back bar. Back bar in a range from Magic Amorph. Why in a range? Because we have balance. All right. Too easy to hit a balance and then in a range. Um, just nice. Basically, it's just it's just a range taunt. That's all it is. People can synergize it, whatever. But it's just for uh, in a range. It's a range taunt. Our next ability is Green's Dragon Blood. Uh, basically just uh, heals you for 39% of your missing health. It's really nice. It, it can crit and it does. Uh, there, uh, there have been times where I have hit this. Or excuse me, I'm hitting the wrong button. Um, I There are times where I've been low, like low, low health. And I've hit Igneous and then hit, hit my Green's Dragon Blood and been all the way to full health. There are times that I've done it. It's been critted before. Uh, like that, but most of the time you're you're filling back up to around 70 percent, 80 percent, something like that. So it is a nice burst heal. Now, it also gives minor vitality. That's probably the only other thing that is amazing about this that um, we'll, we'll go we'll go into a little bit more but just that 20% healing receipt or excuse me healing received by 8% i mean that's just nice that's your minor vitality and then if you look on Malubeth, you get major vitality so you have a major and a minor going at the same time yes they can proc at the same time two majors of the same thing cannot proc like one will cancel each other out, and the same thing with two minors. So say Mayubeth was a minor vitality, it would not proc with Green's Dragon Blood. Okay, major vitality can proc with minor vitality. So hopefully you guys do that. If you didn't, hopefully you learned something. Um, the also the other reason we're using it is because we're not using Harnered Armor and we don't have a healer, it's also ideal to use Green Dragon Blood because we're getting that 12% increased uh, healing. So that's also nice. Uh, we are using Choking Talons and you will use this throughout the entire fight and Scale Caller up until the last boss. And you will use it in Fang Lair. You will use it in Fang Lair throughout the entire dungeon. Okay? Even on the last boss. There's so many ads that are out that if you just keep tallings in the tallying, if you just keep talons up on them, it's just a great CC that they can't move. Okay, you hit it twice and it'll hit ball it'll hit all enemies as far as like the ads go. Okay? Um, and you will use it for the last boss. There are some scarabs that spawn when you hit it, when you talons them. Um, and we'll get into the guide later because uh, I'll be doing a guide on Fanglair. Then I'll do one on Scale Caller within a few days. But Fanglair is coming up uh, either today, tonight or tomorrow. Anyways, um, you'll be using this for the final boss and in, in, um, in There There's some ads that pop up. Um, there's two scarabs that pop up. Every time they hit you, they reduce your armor, and so you get hit really hard, and it, it and it stacks up really fast because any se every second you're around those scarabs and they're hitting you, it's it's adding, it's stacking, it's stacking, it's so crazy. So talons are amazing for them. You just talons them to the ground while they're in the poison, and they, and they just die after, after you talons them twice, they die. Not mean not I don't mean like you talons once you don't I don't mean like boom I'm gonna talons once and then talons again I mean like you talons them you run away from them a little bit they're gonna come after you you talons them again you run away from them okay that's what I mean once talons runs out uh, then they'll come towards you after the four seconds uh, so basically what it does it gives them minor maim um, which is really nice. And um, then other people can synergize it. Whoopie do! But it's only for the minor maim and the CC. It holds it holds enemies in place uh, for four seconds. Really nice. It does not work. Okay, okay. So in Fang Lair, the dogs um, that are tiger and like sense tiger and all that stuff. You know that you know the dogs that, that run towards you and explode. 
it does not hold them in place, but the ability does interact with them. So it does. Okay, it does. The ability does go off, and you will see them get uh, talons with them. But it looks just like that. It'll do that, and it'll disappear, and the dogs will keep running. It doesn't even stop them like a little bit. Okay, uh, but you'll you, you'll hit these like two or three times uh, in ad pools, and you'll be good. So you do need to keep this on your bar, this one, and this one all throughout Fanglair. And this one as well, um, it does help out with the damage. Um, engulfing flame and increases their damage done. Because if you got magic and they're using flame snap, it's just going to increase damage. Uh, affected enemies take 10% more damage from all fire damage. So it's going to help out with a little bit of the damage. Okay. And we and we did have our guys, uh, none of, nobody was running a lightning wall um, other than our sword. But, anyways. Uh, Engulfing flame, just just that ten percent extra damage is nice. Um, what can you use if you're not used to using it? Um, you could put vigor. You could put um, shit. I I don't know. I didn't even uh, think about. It. You could put invigorating drain. You could put um, you could put this altar here. The altar there gives minor life still. And it's extremely huge. It's it's 28 meters. Look how big this is. Oh, what 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 the what the hell? Oh my god. Okay, now we're back. Uh, it might be bugged because I can't see the circle. But uh, all right. Well, if you're on console. Don't use Blood Altar, because apparently it goes to some crap, now that we're back. Um, you can use Energy Orb, you can use Vigor. Um, Caltrop does not work be on the ads, because on the uh, on the very last boss of Fanglayer, because I tried it, and they, they still come at you pretty fast. Um, I would just use Engulfing and put it up anytime you can. Um, if you don't want to use it, Get over it. Use it. No, I don't know. Just use whatever you feel necessary. Fine. Um, now for the next ability, uh, we're using Unrelenting Grip. Basically, if you try and change something to you it will, and it doesn't come, you'll restore your Magicka. It does a little bit of damage. Uh, it can affect them with a the burning. Uh, and it also grants you Mage Expedition. You mainly use it to pull adds towards you. Pull adds towards you, and then talons them. That's literally all you use it for. Pull them, talons them. Easy. Uh, next, next one we're using. Uh, I have been swapping this in and out. When I first did this, I had Woolhorn all the way up until the last boss, um, and then I had, then I put Magma on. So, the first few bosses, yeah, you can put on this. And it'll it'll definitely help out the damage, and you'll get a little bit extra health and whatnot like that. Um, you can uh, you can put Warhorn back here, and, or you can put a front bar and then barrier back bar. Totally does not matter. Okay. Now, if you are dying a lot, or if your group is just dying a lot, put on magma. Like it's just too easy to swap it out. You don't always have to go... Like, these two dungeons are really nice and really hard for a reason. I really like them because they are making you do certain mechanics. And it's just super nice. I, I really like I really like having to do their mechanics instead of just burning everything. Like, it's kind of nice to be able to go to a, go to a dungeon... You kind of have to do some of the mechanics, all right? You can still do at least one of the mechanics and then burn them the rest of the way. But the very last boss is you you need to kind of take it slow uh, during certain parts. Um, you can't just burn it, but you, you, we'll get into that on the next video. But anyways, um, 
it is kind of nice to be able to do at least one mechanic and then pop a warhorn or to if you have enough damage if you don't then i would just you know pop warhorn whenever or just keep a magma shell up you could also use spell wall but i found that uh i did use spell wall i did use barrier back bar i did use standard of might i did take flight um i didn't do soul song because that would be kind of useless but i did do um spell wall and stuff like that but the best one that i found that is just works amazingly is just magma shell um instead of warhorn for a first hard mode complete i did use magma okay uh, for our first complete on just regular vet um i just popped warhorns i actually swapped it um, and put warhorn on both bars but you know whatever um also if you if you equip barrier front bar and you're, you are going to be using it and you have this ability at least which you should um it, any any um Oh my goodness. Any support class you have um, on your bar, it's going to give you a little bit extra recovery. So we're at 5%. So it is kind of nice to have that 5% extra recovery as well. Um, if you have rank 9, then you're probably going to get like 10 or something like that. I don't know. I don't I don't have any PvP character above 8. So whatever. Um, but yeah. All right, so let's, uh, let's kind of look right quick and see. Did I go over my pots? If I did, I'll edit this out. But we are using trash, medica, stam. We are using we aren't using really using removable pots. Sometimes we are, sometimes we're not. And then we are using tri step pots. Uh, we already went over gear. Let's go over CP. Now with this, you get ten extra. Um, CP points. I kind of redid them a little bit. I haven't really optimized them, but for this dungeon, they do work. Okay. Six in Warlord. Reduce the break free. Whatever. Uh, tenacity. Nice to have a little bit of extra heavy attack. You get some uh, stand back with your heavy attacks. If you're not using a staff. Um, if you are using a staff, regardless if you're on your back bar, you heavy attack, or if you're in your front bar, you're going to get magic or stand back. Magic recovery, 75 points. If you go higher, it's kind of a waste a little bit. Uh, 100 into Shadow Ward. I just like that extra block cost. And then 44 tumbling, 17%. Uh, it's just kind of nice to be able to, to move uh, dodge roll a little bit. So... Uh, and then here's your passive. I'm not really going to go over them. I'm just going to kind of hover over them so you guys can see. This synergizer thing is really nice. When you synergize an ability, you get to ultimate. It's really nice. And then there's no here. That's right. I put six there. Um, on this one, it's kind of weird. Um... You get 10 extra points. You, I mean, there's really nothing to put it in because we're not really using Vigor. Um, but if you are using Vigor and you want to increase your heals, um, I would probably go about 75 Blessed, 81 Elfborn. You could do 40 here and then put the rest in Precise Strikes. Precise Strikes is going to increase your critical heals, like your heals as the Stamina Morph. We, have no, we, we don't hardly ever use heals. Uh, we, do, we hardly ever use Vigor anymore. Mainly because we're not using Powerful Assault. That's probably the main reason. And then Green's Dragon Blood is just really nice. I, I don't, you know, it's just really nice. So if that's what you wanted to do, you could swap your Sweet Pea around and do 75 uh, Blessed, 81 Elfborn. Put some points in there and you could put some points in the uh, Precise Strikes. Now, if you are low, okay, so I'm a, okay, I'll go over if you're lower CP in a second. And then I'll, that'll be in the description below if you're lower CP. This is what I suggest. Um, Ironclad, 66, that 22% uh, damage uh, damage mitigation a little bit. Um, Hardy, 56, Heli Defender, 56, Thick Skin, 37. Um, 
I just felt like there was a lot of physical and spell resi- spell uh, damages in there, and there wasn't that many, um, like, um, like dots other than on the last boss. There's a few in there, but in scale color, there's a lot. On um, Fang, Fang Lair, there's not that many um, that I could count. So 15% is, is more than enough, I feel. I put a little bit in the health recovery, and then I put some in the physical resistance. Um, so if you're lower CP, so I am max CP, I'm 720. If you are, here's what I suggest you to put into. If you're just starting out and you're about 100 CP, right? Or something like that. If you're at least 160 or if you're if you're 10 CP or anything like that, like if, here's what I suggest you put in first. I suggest on these on the green tree, which is the thief, I suggest you put in Shadow Ward first and and you can mix it up. You can do Shadow Ward and then summon Tenacity and Arcanus. Those are the main three that you want to start putting. Well, okay. Shadow Ward for sure. Arcanus, yeah. Tenacity, yeah. Tumbling, yeah. But Shadow Ward is by far the first you want to do. And then I would kind of say Arcanus, Tenacity, Sh- Tumbling. Those are the main four you want to focus on. When you're when you're building up your CP, uh, reason why you want to do Shadow Ward w- within a certain, um, you don't want to get it to 100 first and then start putting them in tumbling. You can literally do, you know, one one Shadow Ward, one tumbling, one tenacity, one Arcanus, or you would want to do two points per, like two Arcanus, two tenacity, um, two tumbling, two Shadow Ward, because that will actually get you a one percent, uh, in all of them instead of doing one one one, uh. But yeah, from there on out, you can every every few points you can build build a percent up. So say you have one percent in Shadow Ward, zero percent tumbling, and you just got a CP. You can either put it in you can put it in tumbling to get a 05 percent increase. But it, in nationality, in reality, um, since it's since you didn't jump to that one percent, I think it still points you at zero. I could be wrong. Um, and then when you get another green tree CP, you can put in tumbling, and then you have a one percent uh, reduced the cost of roll dodge. So definitely put it into um, Shadow Ward uh, first, and then I would say Arcanus, and then you could kind of mix between Tenacity and Tumbling. Excuse me. As far as as far as the blue tree. I would do these by percent. I would get like a few percent in Blast and a few percent in Elfborn first. I would work on these two the most. If you're using Green's Dragon Blood, definitely work on these two. These two first. Blast is just going to increase your healing done altogether. And then Elfborn is going to be your magic abilities. Okay, so anytime you heal from Magicka, this is what you're gonna. This is what you're gonna be. Uh, you wanted to wanted to have your points into, okay. So definitely, uh, definitely get these two first. Once you get these two where you want them, say you want to do 75, 81, because you you can do 75, 75, but then there's a jump point right there um, at 75 uh, that you would have to go higher, and I believe it's 81. So that's why we have to do 81 L4. Uh, but 75 bless for sure at the very very least and then 81 um, or you could go lower and be like 60 or 70 whatever it was uh, whatever the, the the percent was and then and then if you want to use vigor a lot then put them in precise strikes but other than that put them in the physical weapon expert okay now this one What I suggest doing first for lower CP is 
is honestly probably trying to go a few into Hardy, get a few percent into Hardy, get a few percent into Ellie Defender, and then and then once you have these probably at I believe it's like twenty something points, you can start working on Ironclad. And the reason I say that is because Hardy and Ellie Defender will help you with dungeons and stuff. And where you reduce your um, direct damage. Uh, this will help more for a hard mode, like like trials and stuff. Yeah, it'll, it'll help against, obviously, all direct damage, don't get me wrong. But um, you can get by in dungeons and, and other stuff like that with with zero to uh with zero like with little to zero cp in on ironclad i did test this out well by taking out all my ironclad and only having uh hardy and ellie in here as far as 56 and 56 and it wasn't that bad to be honest um and fanglair and scale color uh, it was a, kind of a pain in the ass, but it it was def you could still do it because um, I did take out uh, 66 and all my other all my other uh, CPs. Um, but yeah, Hardy, Ellie Defender, thick skin, um, thick skin. Not so. I mean, you know, not so much. But uh, Hardy, Ellie Defender, it's kind of nice. And then Ironclad a little bit later. So definitely try to get these guys to at least like 20-something points. And then start working on Ironclad. Um, these, are, these are just fillers. Um, I like the extra healing received. It's kind of nice with your major minor vitality. And then your heavy armor, it's kind of nice to get that extra bit of uh, uh, physical resistance. Um, uh, yeah, so that goes over our CP as far as for um, lower CP guys, higher CP guys, just kind of help out. Um, see if there's anything else that I missed. I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I know what I forgot. So, on the last boss of Fanglair... You want to swap out chains for a retreat. And the reason why is because when you have those scarabs on you, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, if you guys log on the Twitch or anything like that, I have some podcasts that you guys can check out. What, uh, or you can just wait for the YouTube video. It's going to drop in a few days. But if you can't wait, get on my Twitch. Um, it'll be in the description below, twitch.tv slash j underscore underscore dub, D-U-B. And you'll be able to see um, some of the fights that, uh, that we did. I believe they're up there. May not have say it. But anyways, they're, um, on the final boss, the big dragon, he's going to spawn two scarabs on hard mode, one scarab on, on normal. You're going to talons him, and if you get hit by him, you're going to be slowed down about like this fast. And if you hit rapids... It it uh redo it, it just cancels that out. It just kind of cleanses it, and you'll be good. So, be kind of nice. Uh, definitely want to switch that out before you pull the last boss on Fanglair. It costs a lot of stam. Yeah, it does. But honestly, it's worth it to get the hell out of there and, and go. You could swap it for purge. But honestly, I, I just liked Rapids better because there were times where I didn't have Magicka, but I had Stam to use to get, get out of there as quick as possible. Um, it's it's kind of what you feel you need. Um, if you feel like you want to use Purge, then by all means use Purge. If you feel like... Um, Rapids is better used for you than 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 use rapids. Um, I just like the rapids because it gives you you and your group that speed buff when you're trying to run to when the ghosts are coming 
and you'll see like there'll be a gold shield wall you have to get behind it it really helps you get from point a to point b as quickly as possible so the rapids do help more than just breaking that uh, that uh that's that kind of like slowdown you get from the from those guys um other than that that's that's pretty much it i have nothing else i believe to go over if you guys have any questions at all as far as um why i'm do using this why i'm using that whatever just go ahead and ask me in the comments below there is a reason why um just uh, just hit me up in the comment sections below thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching hopefully this tank build does help you a lot in there uh it, it sure enough has helped me quite a bit and uh, yeah if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comments be below uh, remember to like and subscribe